Thanksgiving, everybody. This is your host for the, for the show, Excel Your Life Show. And I just want to say happy Thanksgiving because today's Thanksgiving. I thought it would be an appropriate topic for today to talk about Thanksgiving, uh, being grateful, giving thanks to God, to the universe, whoever you want to be thankful for. I think as human beings, um, as people who want to live successful lives, going after your goals and dreams, it is important, it is vitally important for us to have a life of gratitude, live a life of gratitude. Hi, Stefan. Hi, Zandiza. Hi, Gloria. Nice to have you guys on board. I don't think I heard. Hi, Rose. Jacob. Hi, Stefan. <laughs> hey, hello. Um, so, yeah, thanks for having you guys on board. So I figured today it's appropriate for... Uh, for today's topic is Thanksgiving. And I just want, uh, today's so gonna be a quick video, um, quick video, I'm not gonna be too long on, on, on today's live. But I just want to um, ask you guys again to share these videos for me, please. Like these videos and little bit leave a comment. If this is the first time you've seen my video, put a one. If you've seen my uh, previous videos, put a two. Also let me know where you're watching me from, what city, what nation, what um, province, states, all that kind of stuff, if you could let me know. Also, please share this video in your group or groups or on your page, if you don't mind, please. And also, if you know someone who could benefit from watching these live videos of mine, please tag them and please send them um, a request for them to watch it for, for me, please. Thank you. Thank you, thank you all of you guys who have joined me, um, Louisa, and Stefan and Rose, thank you guys all for joining me. Um, so I'm gonna, just going to get right into it. I posted something earlier today, earlier this evening, not too long ago actually, on Facebook. And I want to read it again. It's called Gratitude. Gratitude means thankfulness, counting your blessings, noticing simple pleasures, and acknowledging everything that you receive. It means learning to live your life as if everything everything were a miracle and being aware of continuous best basis of how much you've been given. Gratitude shift your focus from what your life lacks to the abundance that is already present. That is so important. It shifts your focus when you're being grateful, when you being when you have the an attitude of gratitude. It shifts your focus from that of what it is you're lacking in your life to the abundance that is around us. There's abundance around us, guys. Abundance, there's abundance everywhere. There's no, there's no lack in this, on this planet, on this, in this universe. God didn't create this, this universe, this planet, with any lack in it. it. Everything we need, want, and desire is here right now. It's here in the universe, exists for us. The only reason why we're experiencing lack in our lives, one of the main reasons, because of our lack of gratitude and, and thankfulness. I think it was Oprah Winfrey, Oprah Winf you heard she said something. I don't remember, I don't know if I can quote her word for word, but she said something along the line of when you're grateful for the small things or for the, for the, for the little things that you have, more will be given to you. You'll, you'll soon have enough to be grateful for, be thankful for. Something along that line, she said. I know I'm not quoting her word for word, but in, what she said was something along that line. Be grateful in the small things, the little things that you have, and soon enough you have a lot to be thankful for. And that is so true. That's universal. That's a universal tr truth right there. Be be thankful in the little things, and soon enough you're gonna have you have. Lots to be thankful for, and that's that's so important. So let me continue here reading this article here. Gratitude shift your focus from what your lack your life lacks to the abundance that is already present. In addition, behavioral and psychological research has shown the surprising the surprising life improvement that can stem from the practice of gratitude. Giving thanks makes people happier and more resilient. It strengthens relationships and improves health and it, and it reduces stress. 
<laughs> and it reduces stress. Now, it's not great. As, you know, it's not all the more reason why we need to be, be, be thankful and be grateful. Today is a national day of Thanksgiving in the United States. Up here in Canada, we celebrated our Thanksgiving uh, last month, um, the, the 12th of October, or the first, I think it's the first or second Monday, the second Monday of every month, we celebrated our Thanksgiving and in, up here in Canada. But the, the, whenever, whenever you celebrate a Thanksgiving, whether it's up here in Canada in October or down in the United States today, they're celebrating the, the Thanksgiving. The important thing is for, is for us to give thanks, to be grateful, to recognize that the abundance that we have in our lives, um, no matter what you're going through, you can be thankful. Let me read you a, a, a verse of scripture. I don't mean to get too preachy here with you guys tonight, but there's a verse of scripture that I that I know. Uh, I want to read to you. He says it says in First um, Thessalonians chapter five verse eighteen. In everything, give thanks, for this is the will of God in Christ concerning you. In everything, give thanks. In whatever circumstances, whatever situation, whatever problems you might be facing today, in everything, give thanks. No, now notice that the, it didn't. It did not say. Sometimes when you're reading your Bible, it's equally as important to pay attention what to what it is saying, to what it is not saying. So notice this verse says, "In everything, give." Thanks. No, it does notice it did not say for everything give thanks, right? But in everything give thanks. No, because reason why you have to make that distinction because it's not everything that is from God. So those things that are not from God, you don't need to thank him for. Like some like some for example, example of what I'm talking about is some sickness or illness. No, God is God. God is not the God that puts sickness and illness on people for teach to teach you something, or because you just want to put, slap some kind of sickness on top of you just for the sake of it, or just because you want to punish you. God, God is not like that. But in the midst of the sickness, if you do have a sickness or illness, this, this is just an example I'm giving you. In the midst of that sickness, you can give thanks. Say, thank God, thank you, Lord, that I'm healed. Thank you for your health. Thank you for your blessing upon my life. Even in the midst of this sickness and disease that I'm going through, I'm suffering, I'm giving you thanks. So that's an example. Another example I can give you, with, with, with a biblical example I can give you, is um, with Paul and Silas, they were in prison. The Bible says while they were in prison, they started giving thanks to God. See, they weren't thanking God for being in prison uh, or for the prison, but they were thanking him in the midst of them being in prison, right? And and God miraculously delivered them. So 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 when the Bible says, in everything, give thanks. Not necessarily for everything we give thanks. But in everything, that we, in any circumstances that we're in, we give thanks and praise to God because he's a good God. And we also, do, and he deserve our praise. Here's another verse I want to greet you guys. Um, in, Psalms, in Psalms 1, 136, let me look it up here. I have a Bible app on my phone, so that's why I'm using my Bible app. It's very convenient <laughs> to look up scriptures. So Psalms, uh, Psalms 136. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endures forever. Give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good. God is good. God is a good, God is a good God. And we also need to give him thanks in everything, in our circumstances. We, and as, as, I, as I said earlier, when we give thanks, as the article that I posted on Facebook said, when you give thanks, it shift your focus. It takes your focus off your lack, off of your need, off of your circumstances, and it shift your focus and you, re you realize that, hey, I have a lot to be thankful for. In this world that we live in, there's no lack, there's no shortage, there's no scarcity. 
all those are this mindset um when people when we're experiencing those things in our lives we can quickly change those things those circumstances around by focusing on the abundance that is around us there's abundance around us there's abundance inside of us you know each one of us have abundance inside of us abundance of life abundance of health abundance of wealth right um that we need to be thankful for focus on being thankful focus on being gr grateful focus of giving thanks don't complain no one want to hear about your problems <laughs> don't complain don't don't make excuses don't blame people don't blame the circumstances don't blame god don't blame the government don't blame your your wife or your husband or the or or your boss or your job don't blame don't complain don't gripe you know um what's the song the santa claus is coming you better not pout you better not um the santa claus is coming to you better not grubs um you better not you know what that song i forgot to say you better not something 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 because he's telling why santa claus is coming to town you know that song better not i forgot to, i can't think of the words no he said better not do something anyway you get the picture um don't do those things focus on being grateful focus on being great um being uh have a grateful heart have a, a um, attitude of gratitude at all times in all situation in all circumstances in life if you don't like something in your life start giving thanks in that area start changing your mindset start thinking changing your focus instead of focusing the lack of it like yes say for example if you don't have any money are you sure there's money you can't pay your bills you can't pay your rent you can't pay your car payment instead of focusing on that focusing start giving thanks for the little money that you do have even if you have to just have enough two nickels to rub together give 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 thanks to those two nickels thank god say god let me give me these two nickels i have to rub together if that's all the money you have if you if you're you know whatever situation you're in try to look at the positive side of it of that situation and be thankful give thanks to god think give thanks to the universe if you don't if you don't believe in god but just just find something in any situation that you're in to be grateful for to be thankful for and start thanking god in that situation and you'll see that situation turn around for you you know as what oprah winfrey said i don't i know i'm not quoting her word for word um, but I know something along the life is if you're grateful for the little things that you have soon enough you'll be have a lot to be grateful for and That is so it's true for me, and it's true for you. We need to be more grateful. We need to be more thankful um, Hold on <laughs> Someone is trying to join in um, so we need to be grant thankful. We need to be more grateful because that is the will of God concerning concerning for us, and that's how we'll change our situation around. So, anyways, that's it. That's going to be it for me for tonight, guys. Thanks for tuning in. I hope I say something that move you, inspire you, motivate you in some way, shape, or form. I want to say happy thank give uh, happy Thanksgiving to all my American viewers. I have family and friend down there living in the United States. I will say happy Thanksgiving to my family, my brother, my sister that live in down the States. Thank, happy Thanksgiving to you guys. Happy Thanksgiving to everybody, whether you're in the United States or not, wherever you're watching this from. Let's be grateful. Let's be have a, an attitude of gratitude. Let's give thanks unto the Lord for he is good for his mercy and joys forever. And remember, when you're thankful, it shifts your focus from off of your lack and from what for what you from your lack to the abundance that is around you focus on the abundance that is around you there's abundance around us abundance the universe is filled with abundance let's focus on that not on the lack in the name of jesus <laughs> okay i feel like going on preaching but i i wanted this to be a short video thank you guys for watching thank you for joining me um, I didn't want this to be a very long video. I just wanted to come and to say happy Thanksgiving to everybody. Thank you for watching um, the Excel Your Live show once again. Happy Thanksgiving to everybody.
Thanks for joining me. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Again, we're going to have another exciting topic to talk about tomorrow. I don't know what it is yet, but it's going to be good. Until then, God bless you. I love you. Peace. Thanks, Lindsay. <laughs> Thank you, guy Anantan and Jocelyn. <laughs> oh, wow. We got lots of views tonight. Oh, thank you, guys. <laughs> See you guys tomorrow.